thank you. Um, and good morning to you all uh, from my part also. I'm Mika Kirikka and I represent Sweco, um, a consulting and engineering of, um, company. And my uh, role there is a circular economy manager uh, in the industrial solutions. So basically, um, I have this look on bioeconomy that uh, circular economy embraces uh, bioeconomy. Um, b uh, there's both um, aim to use uh, as less as possible natural resources and create a uh, new value change uh, that are sustainable. A um, few words about Sweco. We are a um, kind of big company in, in the European market, 16,000 experts. And uh, the net sales is about reaching uh, 2 billion. And uh, here in Finland, um, we are about uh, 2,400 experts in different fields of uh, built environment and uh, industry. So our mission is actually to uh, plan and design uh, future cities, communities and industry in the most sustainable way. Sustainability has been in our uh, DNA since uh, the origin of the company in 1889 by Theoril. Um, engineering company and uh, since 1997 we've been uh, Sweco we have been grown quite a lot and this century we have been growing organically and then through acquisitions uh, around 100 acquisitions in, in this century the latest one is actually uh, energy group so now we also are big in the sustainable um, mobility uh, with the rail engineering uh, in the Nordic countries. So we serve uh, quite broadly the, the needs of the society when developing the urban and industrial infrastructures and processes. So, uh, on the bioeconomy, I had these uh, uh, three approaches for the bioeconomy, and that um, one of them is, is uh, biogas. So, um, biological processes and, and in many cases, uh, bio based materials are involved. So, this uh, reflects actually our approach that well, we start with the idea and work through the implementation and then the life cycle support of those operations. Um, so for biogas, for example, um, the regional plans and strategies need to be developed. So we have been involved in, in, in uh, analyzing the um, the, the, the regional nutrient layout, uh, where's the lack and where's, where's the too much, uh, certain um, nutrients and, and then the biogas potential on different uh, regional areas. And um, that helps then the society to make uh, right decisions uh, to support the transition to bioeconomy. Uh, utilizing uh, the renewable energy sources and all the way through permitting uh, engineering and then the project management services on the implementation phase. Currently we are working with the Kasum uh, biogas plant in Lohia uh, or um, that's uh, like a public reference there are, of course, many references that are in the nature of confidentiality, and when they are in the first stages, they also might be uh, 
confidential. The same principle applies for other kinds of operations in the uh, bio-based industry or bio-economy related processes. Uh, as you can see, I, my background is industrial, so I, I think on the processes and the uh, supply chains and the value chains from that perspective, but um, the uh, implications of bioeconomies, of course, seen in um, in the society, uh, in the urban development level also. One of the exa examples uh, uh, is, of course, the Anekoski bioproduct mill, where we were the main engineering partner on an EPCM um, contract. Uh, so we helped the client to realize the whole pulp mill. Um, um, we were involved in the beginning when, when not too many people knew about this product, process, uh, project and then we are still in the life cycle support phases. Uh, interestingly, bioproduct mill is uh, increasing the amount of turnover from uh, um, other products than cellulose. Uh, the tendency in general is to create more value from the same raw materials like the wood. Um, so higher value products that are processed from those raw materials. And one, of, one example is this wood-based textiles that are more sustainable than the cotton uh, causing erosion and uh, using quite a lot of, a lot of um, resources. Uh, so uh, that's one, one of the cases where we are involved at the moment, uh, the de demo plant in Anekoski. And those textiles um, or products from those textiles should be in the next Olympic Games, I think. A um, few words on, on general level on the uh, processes. Uh, there's, of course, different kind of uh, biocomposites that, uh, uh, let's say, wood fibers are used. Uh, for example, there's some in uh, asphalt. Uh, um, also other kind of applications and then uh, where we are also involved is uh, um, in a general level so there are many operators and, and, and one of them has asked us to be involved in, in uh, development of um, uh, design brackets for lignin upgrade, upgrading process. So lignin is very interesting uh, substance or uh, compound uh, to be used in many applications. Of course, then uh, biofuel and bioethanol plants and second generation biomass to liquid plants are in our portfolio. An example on, on the materials, I know that all universities are um, focusing research on on uh, materials from industrial side streams. Um, so basically, um, mater new materials with uh, less climate impact implementing circular economy. But the main thing is also that uh, to implement and those uh, uh, products, uh, we need to analyze the cost and benefits. And there are many many uh, sites on, on how to um, proceed on this. Uh, there are few uh, examples, um, for example, where we have analyzed uh, what would be the best method on, on uh, renovation and uh, new construction. Um, and, and of course, one of bio-based cases that uh, it has been shown, for, for example, in Helsinki that uh, renovation and applying uh, wood-based uh, materials uh, for, uh, for the rebuilt construction is uh, quite a sustainable way to uh, densify the urban environment. And we are actually looking for uh, uh, 
partner for thesis work on, on uh, looking on the uh, contract models and uh, implementation models for circular or bio-based materials uh, because uh, that is something we see that is uh, an inhibitor on uh, how these new products will be applied in the market. Thank you.